All right, let's talk a little bit about hiding and revealing um, rows and columns of data. So let's pretend that this is some feedback information that I wanted to share with the team, but I didn't necessarily want um, people's email addresses showing up because I didn't want them being associated with the different scores and, and pieces of feedback that they might have left um, on a form. So to hide this column of data, all I have to do, there's a drop down arrow. If I kind of hover over column B, you can see this little drop down arrow. And if I click that, I can hide that column. Another way to access that is just to right click on that column. If you right click, you'll be able to hide that data. So um, you can see now um, I'm, I know that some cells are hidden uh, partly because it skips E. So this column goes from D to F and this one goes from A to C. So letters are skipped, uh, but also because of those arrows kind of pointing out. And if I hover over those arrows, I kind of get a button that I can click and then that'll reveal that information again if I, if I want to show it. Um, and, and basically the exact same thing goes with rows. If I click on a row, I, could, I can right click and hide that row. And to reveal that, um, I, I now have that little button there that if I hover over, it can be a little bit delicate, but you can see if I hover over it here, I, I've got that button now and I can click to reveal that information. So that's just a little bit about hiding and revealing um, um, data. But um, I should note that it's, it's not, deleted from this sheet. So it's still on there. If I share this sheet with anybody, they would be able to unhide that information. So it's not gone from view entirely, but if you're presenting information, it is gone from sight. So it's not, it's not deleted out of the sheet entirely, but it is just hidden out of sight and, and that's how to do it.